What up, everybody? It's your boy, Young Fizz, a.k.a. Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another tutorial. So today, we are back inside a machine, and I want to show you guys how to do a fake snare scratch inside a machine without using no plugins whatsoever. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and please do not forget to turn on the bell notifications so whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's tutorial, which is the fake snare scratch inside a machine. All right, so I have already loaded a snare. Let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like there. All right, perfect. So the first thing I wanna do is make a duplicate. So I have to turn off my pre here switch here and drag this down here. Now I have made a duplicate. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in a note here and then I'm gonna click in a note here. And we're just gonna go ahead and play these two notes. I'm gonna turn back on my pre here switch. Perfect. All right, so I wanna make sure this sound here, on snare number one, is perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and hit s that's gonna take me to my sample editor window and I'm just gonna drag this up right here all right and that's just so it's playing as soon as I press the button it's clicking all right so that does indeed sound good all right so the next thing I want to do is go down to sample 2 and it's gonna be the same snare instead of moving the start point here I want to reverse it first so I'm just gonna go ahead and click the reverse button and now I'm gonna move my start point to where I start to see some sound here. So maybe like right around here, there, That's that should be good there. So let's go ahead and take a listen. All right, so that should be pretty good right there. All right, so now I have two snares, one regular and one reverse. So let's go ahead and go back to my pre here switch and listen to them both. And let me just press play. And that sounds pretty good already. I wasn't expecting that, but that is how that pretty much worked. So. Because I'm right on and spot on, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to sound three, go back to sample editor. I'm gonna change my source to internal and that's gonna record what I just did. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is change my mode to detect. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And then I'm just gonna press play. Stop my recording and perfect. So now I can just go to edit. I can come over here and select what I want to keep. Hit true and Kate and then we are done. So I can go ahead and make this a little bit more sharper on the edit here, bringing it all the way in here. Let's hit it one more time. And now I have a perfect hit. So I could basically take these two snares off and then I just have this one here and turn this back on. And now I have a seamless, perfect snare. And that's pretty much the tutorial. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. It's your boy, Young Fizz, aka Mr. Dope Status, and we will see you on the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. We out.